Well, here we go again. This week has been a buzz with the news about Steve Macy leaving Bethesda. There has been loads of drama about it, so let's talk. For those of you who might not know, Steve Macy was the lead developer for Fallout 76's The Pit, among many other parts of the game. He is the reason why we have the Pipe is Life random encounter, too. Last week, he made a statement that simply said that he had left Bethesda to pursue a new opportunity. This announcement led to a myriad of people going crazy with wild theories about why he left. Now, to be clear, Steve did clarify that he left with a ton of notice and on good terms. This means it should not have been blown out of proportion. However, it did get blown out of proportion by a wide variety of people. It is absolutely normal for developers to leave companies to pursue new challenges. While it seems like Bethesda has been bleeding developers over the last few years, this really is not true. Many of the people who have left have all stated that they not only left on good terms, but left simply because they wanted to work on smaller projects. Bethesda makes big games, and those can be difficult to work on. They take a lot of time and effort to make. While smaller games are not easy to make, they do give the developer more time to work with, which can be helpful for non-work-related activities. Nate Perkypile went on to create his own indie studio called Just Perky Games and is currently working on The Axis Unseen, a monster hunting game. Jeff Gardner went on to create his own studio called Something Wicked Games and is currently working on a new game titled Weird Song. Sometimes developers don't go into business for themselves. Sometimes they just go to work for other studios. This is the path Steve Macy has decided to take. It is perfectly normal to see this happen, and yet for some reason, when it happens with Bethesda, people just lose their minds. I have seen many different takes on this, and many of them are just trying to paint a picture of discourse within Bethesda. This simply is not true, and there is no evidence to give this theory any legs to stand on. For my part, I was happy to not even cover this till I saw so much misinformation being spread. I don't want to cover any of the theories being spread simply because I don't want to give any credence to them. Instead, I would prefer to stick to the facts. The facts are simple. People come and go from Bethesda all the time. Some stay for years, some stay for decades. The one thing in common is that when someone decides to leave, they generally do so on good terms. Now, I'm not saying that some people don't leave on bad terms. That happens in every business. All I am saying is, can we just stop trying to fabricate drama when there is none to be seen? I wish nothing but the best for Steve in his future endeavors. As long as he is happy with his decision, that is all that really matters. The fact that he delayed leaving until after the pit releases shows that both he and Bethesda were on the same page and wanted the pit to work well. Steve himself stated that he did not want his departure to overshadow the pit release. This shows that there was no drama, no discourse, and no reason to believe that there is any sort of problem within Bethesda. Think about it. Bethesda is Microsoft's baby, and there is no way they would allow something like that to happen. There is no mass exodus happening here. Sure, Fallout 76 does need more developers actively working on it. That does not mean that we need to sound the alarm every time we hear of someone leaving. Why don't we hear these same people talking about the new developers that have joined the team? Oh, that's right, because it doesn't fit their narrative. Anyway, I just wanted to make this quick video to address the issue and do what I can to put it in perspective. Let me know what you think in the comments below. While you're at it, like, subscribe, and share. As always, I'm just glad you stopped by, and I'll see you in the next one.